Hey witches, mystics, manifestors, or people who just like tarot. I'm Ray Luna. Welcome to my channel. For today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at what are you manifesting next in life? So for our selection here, we have group number one with Moonstone and your deck is a traditional Rider Waite tarot. For group number two, we have Rodinite and for your deck, we have this pink version of the traditional Rider Waite. And for group number three, we have Citrine. And your deck is a traditional Rider Waite tarot once again. But this version is a little bit more like vintage or worn looking. So take your time and choose the crystal and card that is calling out to you the most. And when you're ready, head to the description or comment section to click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. I hope you guys enjoy this reading and thank you for watching. Hey group number one, welcome to your reading. So you chose the moonstone here and with this stone, you guys could be manifesting some mental balance, healing, and maybe connecting more so with your intuition, trying to bring things into your life based on how you're feeling internally. Also, I see here you're manifesting a bit of success here with the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. And I noticed too, you have three sixes so 666 could be important for you. So you guys can look this number up yourself, but from what I remember, I think it's associated with refocusing what you want to do, your goals, planning things. So you're definitely gonna be manifesting successful plans, successful organization to reach those goals and make those plans happen, of course. And I also see too, I feel like you guys are manifesting with the six of swords and strength here. You're manifesting walking away from always having to be strong all the time. So I feel like you're going to soften your life up a bit, okay? Like instead of always having to deal with difficulties or hardship, you're finding ways to move on from always having to be strong, always having to be brave, always having to carry things and pick things up. You're finding ways to let that go and allow yourself to receive more and be in a state where you can be helped. Maybe you're also manifesting trusting people more or finding people that are trustworthy in the first place because when we have people around us we can trust, we can give some of our issues to them or they can support us with our issues. So maybe some of you guys are manifesting those people to come into your life in the first place and having more support. So you can rest more and you can focus on yourself. I feel like too with the Moonstone, as I mentioned earlier, that's talking about mental clarity and balance. So maybe related to your own intuition, your own goals, you're finding ways to clearly walk towards what you want, clearly work towards getting what you want. And you're not letting other priorities take a hold of that. You're finding the time for yourself, your wants, your needs, and putting that first. And maybe you have to heal your relationship here. Like one reason why you're drawn to the Moonstone is you're healing your relationship with being able to receive. Maybe you've been taught receiving is a sign of weakness or you can't trust people. You might have valid reasons for not trusting some people. But this is finding ways to reach people who are trustworthy and finding ways to connect with receiving more and allowing yourself to be softer, to be more vulnerable and find connections, support, or allowing yourself just to enjoy things, not being worried like, oh, if I enjoy something, you know, something might come around quickly after and ruin that for me. It's like leaving that mindset behind and manifesting a lot of beautiful things entering your life where you feel like, okay, now I can have joy. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put down some more cards and see what else you're manifesting. Okay, so here we have heart love and butterfly metamorphosis. So what I'm seeing here is you're definitely allowing more feelings of love into your life. So for some of you guys, this is definitely manifesting a new love connection. Maybe in love connections, you always had to do all the work. You're the person who always had to be giving. Um, maybe you made all the sacrifices in a relationship. So for instance, this could be being partnered with someone and you want to move, right? But you end up having to move where your partner wants to live, not necessarily where you want to or where you can have opportunity. It's always towards like what your partner wants or it's something always benefiting your partner and they're not making sacrifices for you. So you might have dealt with that in the past, but now you could be bringing in a new love connection where things are shifting and changing. You're allowed to be seen more, your needs are met more. So that will be a major change for you. Like how a butterfly is leaving its cocoon and becoming this beautiful monarch. You're gonna be having more control, more power, in a new romantic connection that could be coming your way. This is also a love that will be different from how you experienced in the past. I want to stress that. This is having a connection where you're receiving more Six of Pentacles energy, having more being given to you and not necessarily just you giving to your partner. It's gonna be more equal, more balanced. And I think that's gonna make you a lot happier. Maybe you're gonna have some of your hope and faith and love restored. This also could be about having love for yourself increase, having your self-identity, your self-concept change, how you view yourself. Maybe you're seeing, oh, I should love myself more. I'm worthy, I'm valuable. My goals, my dreams, my ambitions can come true and I need to do the work. I can't make excuses for that anymore. I can make it happen, like having love and self-worth, changing your life based on seeing how valuable you are, which you are, of course. So that's another thing you're, you're definitely bringing in and manifesting. Okay, now I'm gonna shuffle a couple more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have you are in charge of your life, lead, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. So definitely, and with that message of monarch butterfly, right? Um, that makes me think of someone who's royalty, someone who leads and takes charge. So you guys are definitely manifesting, being stronger um, with your own life goals, but then being softer by receiving more help, trusting more people, knowing when to be vulnerable when you can let your guard down but you're still you're still going to have power okay so you're going to be able to approach things in your life that where you have control you're going to be able to be like okay i can i can take this over i can lead this so for instance like your career goals that's something you can be in charge of you can take the lead on by applying to different jobs or trying to get a promotion or maybe starting your own business, going after your own dream. If it's not working for somebody, this could be going back to school or going to school the first time. There's something you're going to be taking charge on that you're no longer going to be scared of. And you really want to change your life. Maybe you want to be in love with life too. You want to manifest that as well. Like you want to enjoy life. You want to be in control and not just be a victim of circumstance. So you're definitely manifesting changing that, changing things. And it's funny too, because like even in this image of this card, the cat here is sitting very regally on its cushion. Like I'm in charge, I'm in the lead. So you're definitely moving into that energy. And with Lizard as well, that's talking about going towards your dreams, putting in the hard work, but also it's not just about hard work, it's about be believing in yourself. Taking the time to understand what you want and go after it, even if it might be hard, it might require a lot of effort. Or you might have to change what you're currently doing. That can be scary as well, having to leave behind 
what you're doing in the present for something completely new. So I think you guys are also manifesting being able to handle change and seeing change in a positive light, not just a negative light. Seeing how change can be a really good thing. It can be a necessary thing for life to improve and be better. So that's another thing I'm seeing. I also feel like you guys are moving away from people controlling you. So I feel like you're manifesting, like developing stronger boundaries, having more of a sharp tongue to tell people off like, hey, leave me alone. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to do that, right? You're going to be able to say no, which is always a good thing. You're going to be more comfortable in your own skin as well because um, with lizard spirit, lizards are really interesting because I think of I think of those lizards where if you grab their tail, they can have their tail fall off and run away and then their tail can come back and regrow, rejuvenate. So it's like you're not afraid to do something where you have to adapt. You're manifesting, being adaptable, being flexible, but not for other people, for yourself. You're understanding, okay, there's certain things I cannot compromise on any longer because it will be compromising my own morals, my own values, my own sense of self. And you're going to be navigating things in a way where you're putting yourself first. You're going to be having success with that, possibly a new love, a healthier romantic relationship coming in, taking the lead and taking charge of your life, not being a victim of circumstances anymore, like finding ways to overcome your circumstances and trusting yourself more and being more okay with changes and being more okay with setting boundaries. So those are the things you're manifesting. Group number one, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about this reading. Feel free to tell me in the comments what part resonated with you the most. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number two. So you chose this pink deck and with your stone here, we have Rodinite. I'm not sure if it's focusing, but this stone has a really pretty pink color. That's why I chose it for this deck. And because you guys were drawn to it, I feel like you're attracting more self-love, maybe more love in general, whether that's romantic love, platonic love, or manifesting feelings of acceptance from finding a community where you're loved and accepted, knowing that you're just loved and accepted by, you know, the universe or God, whatever you believe in, and just knowing that you have value, you have purpose, you're finally going to be understanding that and accepting yourself and feeling love from the world, from the universe, from people. I also see here as well, this is interesting because this really relates to your cards that appeared here. You're manifesting healing emotional wounds, okay? Traumas, really deep-seated, difficult feelings, things that have happened to you. You're really healing them and moving on from, like, the way you're affected by emotional wounds. You're finding ways to overcome that healthily, effectively, and moving towards like having an easier time, not letting your, your past emotional wounds weigh you down and hold you back. I also see here as well with the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, this is manifesting quick changes. So if things have been stagnant or you haven't been seeing progress, uh, buckle up, okay? <laughs> things are about to change with these cards here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Tower indicates a change that's going to shake your foundation up. A change that's going to make you see things a little differently. But this is a good thing. I also feel like this could be relating to facing something difficult head on here with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords can be like really, really difficult struggles or situations. But this is like you're facing something head on and healing from it. So in this case, I feel like you're moving away from darkness. You're having more hope because the worst feels like it's over, okay? 
It feels like this is done, this is going to be over with soon, and it is. So that is a great thing. But I will say this, while you're manifesting a positive change out of this, you could be dealing with these feelings a little while longer. But there is a quick change away from chaos, away from difficult feelings. You're, you're healing from this and becoming stronger, more insightful, being able to use what things have happened to you to inform the next part of your life. So this is definitely not a bad thing, but it might have some growing pains, okay? I want to be honest with that. There could be some growing pains, but you're going to grow into a more successful version of yourself. And I feel hope coming in, feeling like, okay, this change, facing things head on, this is what is needed for the situation I'm in to have positive things happen. And that's exactly what is going to happen, okay? So I'm going to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. And see, what did I say? We have smiley face joy, infinity, unlimited potential. So yeah, you're definitely going to be growing and your life's going to be changing in a way where maybe you didn't expect like these type of changes that will be coming for you. So I feel like there's a shift in your overall situation. So that could be your environment or a current challenge you've been dealing with or something from your past that gave you a struggle, it's breaking away and is no longer going to be an obstacle for you in your future, like long-term future, that's not going to be an issue anymore. I feel like you're going to be feeling more happy with your ability to handle things. So I feel like once again, with that emotional wounds, you're finding ways to handle life effectively and you're still, you're still having time and energy to work on your goals. You're finding time and energy maybe to take care of yourself here or do something that makes you feel happy. So for instance, um, sometimes expression, self-expression can make us feel better. So in this picture here, the woman on her nails, she has these smiley faces. So that makes me think of nail art or doing some sort of thing that makes you feel like this is me, I'm expressing myself. I'm, I'm showing myself to the world. So doing stuff like this too, you could be manifesting, being more comfortable with the way you're presenting yourself, being more truthful with the way you're presenting yourself. So for instance, I feel like a lot of people are scared to show their own personal style more. A lot of people feel like they have to look or be a certain way to be accepted, whether that's because of society, what they were taught, um, you know, stereotypes, whatever that is. This here is like combating that by being unapologetically you and finding yourself through expression. So you guys are manifesting being more comfortable with that. You're also manifesting having the potential and the ability to grow immensely, being able to handle seeing yourself with everything you have wanted. So don't be scared of being successful. So this is like eliminating self-sabotage instead of, instead of telling yourself, oh, I can't do this. I'll never succeed. You're telling yourself, I can do this. I have the potential to be able to succeed. If you're facing a challenge or something you haven't done before, this is going to be showing you hey, if you haven't done that before, you don't have that experience, now you can learn to do so and grow in that, in that new way if it's your first time doing something. So this is like finding out you can do it all. You can have what you want and you can work towards being more happy with what you're accomplishing, not holding yourself back, fully embracing what you want and going after it, believing you even have the chance to do so will increase your chance of succeeding because you're not you're not cutting yourself off before you even go to the opportunity, right? You're you're doing things anyway. So I'm going to shuffle a couple more cards and see what else comes through. OK, 
Okay, with these cards here, we have you are changing your life, transform, and hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. So right away with transform and the previous cards of the wheel of fortune, the tower, and the ten of swords, you guys are going to be experiencing a radical change, a radical difference in your life. So this could be you have just completed something really major in your life that related to, you know, having emotional stress or difficulty there, feeling less burdened, moving away from something, moving into the next stage of life. But if you haven't had that happen, this could be talking about a situation that has yet to come that you're unaware that you're manifesting. Because once this happens, this radical shift, this radical change, it could also be like something's right in front of you that you're now facing head on and it's radically going to change your life for the better. There could be something in your life you've been putting off or avoiding if this hasn't already happened, like something major in your life where it's like now you're going to be seeing that and being like, wow, I need to change something now. And once you do, it's like, wow, like why did I not do this sooner? This could be how you're treating yourself as well, like not believing in your potential and your ability to do things too. But you're definitely transforming and it's definitely it's definitely for the better and having more, more of the ability to trust yourself as well because on this skull here, we see the little eye icon and that makes me think of the third eye chakra, trusting in yourself, your own abilities, your intuition. It makes me think of seeing things in a different way or seeing things how they are, depending on if something is distorted or if something's being truthful or not truthful. You're going to be seeing things in a different way based on your intuition. And if you guys by any chance were drawn to group number one, I would suggest watching group number one as well because you have a lot of messages that kind of are mirroring or are similar to what I felt in group number one. I usually don't say to do that, but this time I really feel like saying that. It feels uh, similar to me. And lastly here, with hawk spirit, I feel like hawks are really amazing animals. It says, let spirit be your guide. So when I see hawks, I think of like power, uh, a fierce animal. So you guys are going to be becoming more fierce, uh, more powerful. I also feel something too, once again, with that perspective and the eye here too on the skull, a bird's eye view, something with a, a bird's vision being perfect. Something's going to be very clear to you guys. You're going to be having a revelation or realization that's going to radically change things for you for the better, leading to a lot more growth in your life, whether that's finances, love, um, your own personal goals, and that leads to a lot of happiness, joy, feeling like, ah, why did I not do this sooner? I keep picking that up. Like, why did I, why did I not work on this sooner? Or why did I not feel this way sooner, right? So you're definitely, like hawk spirit, moving into a higher realm, like how birds fly in the sky. Like you're moving into a higher, a higher vibration, a higher plane, a higher level, and it's going to be really awesome for you. So that was your reading, group number two. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments what part of the reading resonated with you. I always love to read the comments. If you did like this reading, consider liking it, subscribing. I always appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. So, with this stone, you chose citrine. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. But with this stone, I feel like you could be manifesting some more happiness, new opportunities, more creativity, more luck. And when I've previously read about this stone, I've heard it's also called the merchant stone. So it is something that is good for business, business opportunities, 
and receiving more money or things related to jobs, you could have more luck in that area. So I feel like you guys could be manifesting more financial abundance or more financial opportunities that make you happier. With the page of wands here too, I see um, wanting to maybe act, pursue new adventures, new ideas. This could even manifest as like wanting to move someplace suddenly or having the urge to suddenly have new experiences, do new things. So I feel like you're manifesting having the ability and the courage to maybe be more spontaneous to bring about life changes. So you guys could be someone who doesn't like surprises, right? So you could be manifesting more energy that's opening you up to want to pursue new things in the first place, going after things that might seem scary, but in reality, they could be opening you up to a whole new world that benefits you. I also see something else that's really interesting here. We have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. This is like someone doing something secret behind your back or needing to do something in secret too. And then with the Seven of Wands, it's like protecting yourself, defending yourself, having to fight. So I think you could be moving away from a situation where people were not being transparent with you. For some of you guys, because of the career uh, and money messages, the abundance coming in, it is possible you could be leaving a situation career-wise or financially where there was deception, there was something not being told to you, something not truthful, something you had to fight or deal with that obviously you did not want to. So this could be moving away from an untrustworthy workplace. Maybe you have a workplace that doesn't pay you on time, so you always have to talk to a manager, then they do it, but it's like, okay, what is, what is going on here? So it could be something like that you're moving away from. You're finding a new opportunity where you don't have to deal with a situation like that, thankfully. I also see this as well. This could just be dealing with people who weren't trustworthy or it could be like a fake supporter. There's someone who's a family member or a friend, a coworker who seems really supportive of your goals and dreams, but you end up having to fight them when you talk to them. Like maybe you feel like you're fighting to get their support. You're fighting to get their approval. You're moving away from that and this person will be revealed to you. If you potentially have, you know, a fake supporter in your life, you're finding out who that is and you're not letting it affect you. You're still going to be succeeding and being able to move forward without telling this person information they shouldn't really know, if that makes sense. Like, you won't tell them the details of your life, so they'll be left in the dark and you don't have to worry about this person sending you negative energy or trying to sabotage you by talking to you and telling you, you know, that's not really a good idea. You shouldn't do that when it might be something you really should do. So you're moving away from that. I also see here too, with the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords, I also think you're moving away from reactionary behaviors. So sometimes when we get upset or we feel something strong emotionally, we might want to instantly act and do something. So instead, what I see here is you're taking that energy and putting it where it needs to be. So you're being spontaneous and taking action on needing to maybe find a new job or apply yourself and do something new, do something different you haven't before so you can grow. Instead of overreacting to things or putting your energy into something that's just meant to make you upset. So for instance, um, there's a lot of content online that is deliberately made for engagement and it's done by making people angry. It's called rage bait, right? There's a lot of content that's made so people will purposely watch it and get angry and then be like, you know, what are you doing and leaving comments like that? So you guys are moving away from things like that. So you're not going to watch something if it's upsetting you. You're going to step away from that and walk away. You're not going to talk to people. Hey, like 
that fake supporter. You're not going to talk to that fake supporter and try to get them to support you. You're just going to realize, okay, that person's not going to support me. That's okay. I'll walk away from that and find people who do. So you're leaving like reactionary type of things behind and you're putting that that energy into things that really will change your life and give you more financial abundance. So that is really, really nice to see. And I'm, I'm glad you're going to be finding a way to leave that fake cheerleader or that unsupportive like work environment, something mistrustful, not transparent. I'm glad you're leaving that behind because it's really holding you back. So I'm going to shuffle some more cards and see what else is coming through. Okay, with these cards here, we have Evil Eye Protection and Butterfly Metamorphosis. So yeah, um, with the Evil Eye, I think that makes sense with this Seven of Swords energy of someone not fully supporting you and maybe sending negative energy so you don't feel motivated to make much needed changes in your life. And that's not your fault. That's that person, right? We can't control other people's actions or things they do. But this is like you're spotting how someone might be putting an evil eye on you, wanting to manifest difficulty in your life. They don't want to see you succeed. So this is moving past that and manifesting a way to change your life and become this beautiful monarch butterfly taking control. And it's funny because this card actually came out for group number one in the same place, the second card. So all the... All the groups here today had a message of stepping into your own power and finding yourself, listening to yourself. So you're overcoming that evil eye, reflecting it back on that person by not giving them a reaction and taking back your power by not, not giving in by reacting in a way this person wants you to or the situation might be leading you to react, right? Instead, you're going to be applying to new jobs. You're going to be finding ways you can make more money. You're going to be finding ways you can listen to your heart and listen to, you know, your own goals, what you want to do, and then do so accordingly. You're not listening to this person's BS or disparaging comments. You're leaving this behind. And you're claiming the things they said you can't have proving this person wrong. So I think there's also a message too of, you know, manifesting good karma, having other people receive negative, negative effects for their behavior. So you have been acting well and someone has been trying to trick you or sabotage you. This is saying that person will receive it back tenfold what they're doing here. They're going to receive that back. It's also possible to um, with the laptop here, this could be like communication with someone too digitally. So that could be having to block someone or not not be able to see something someone keeps trying to show you and it's negative. So I'm going to put down a couple more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, so with these cards here, we have be present in the moment, concentrate, and parrot spirit, watch your words. So yeah, definitely like with that person who's like a fake supporter, be careful what you say to others. Um, this could be a time to work in silence, not tell people what you're doing. Of course, if you, if you really trust them and you know like by discernment, that's not the person. I don't want you guys to feel like you can't, you know, reach out or talk to people if you need support. This is just saying, use your discernment, your intuition here too with this evil eye to make sure you're not telling someone like what you want to do, your goals, and this person doesn't have the power. Make sure they don't have the power to influence that or sabotage it because there could be someone like that in your energy, but, but you're manifesting that away. You're finding that out. So that is definitely a good thing at least. Um... But yeah, definitely be careful because someone could be using your words, tattling on you. Once again, I feel like workplace maybe, um, like some type of drama like that, it could be as well. And finding that out, moving to a better opportunity once you do find that out. You can't realize there's a problem 
until, you know, you finally see one, you finally know for sure. So this clarity will be coming in, allowing you to move on from negativity, moving towards more, more empowerment and a better, a better opportunity that's giving you more financially. Once this happens, it's like you're, you're not going to have to deal with dramatic coworkers like this or dramatic, you know, friends, family, whoever this is. You could be moving away from this, not having to deal with this and having the ability to concentrate on your own life, your own, your own goals without worrying about high school type of drama, right? There's no need for that. So you're, you're having the ability to concentrate on yourself and grow away from this person and watch that karma hit them back. And, you know, you're going to get the last laugh at the end. So that's what I see here for what you're manifesting. Group number three, I hope you like this reading. Let me know what part of the reading resonated with you the most. If you like this reading, consider liking the video and subscribing. I always appreciate that. But I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye.